Hi, welcome back to Calkine TV. I'm Nathan and you are watching the Stocks in Action. Let's get straight to today's latest market update. The S&P ASX 200 is lower today, dropping 50.50 points or 0.72 percent to 6,967.30 at 10.36 a.m. this morning. The bottom performing stocks in this index are NUIX Limited, Whitehaven Coal Limited. They are down 13.81% and 5.17%. The S&P ASX 200 index has lost 0.79% for the last five days, but sits 1.80% below its 52-week high. Sectors are mixed. 10 of 11 sectors are lower today, along with the S&P ASX 200 index. Although little changed, healthcare is today's best performing sector. It is down 1.44% for the past five days. And now let's have a look at the major news. BHP Group anticipates full year iron ore output near the upper end of the forecast. BHP Group Limited has continued its strong safety and operational performance during the quarter ended 31st of March 2021. BHP has reported record production at Western Australia Iron Ore and record average concentrator through output delivered at Escondida for the nine months ended 31st of March 2021. BHP's production guidance for the financial year 2021 remains unchanged for petroleum and iron ore, while an increase is expected for copper to be in the range of 1535 KT and 1660 KT, indicating stronger than anticipated performance at Escondida. Metallurgical coal guidance and energy coal guidance have both declined due to substantial wet weather impacts. BHP Group Limited stocks are trading at 46.460 Australian dollars on the 21st of April 2021 at 10.43 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Telix Pharmaceuticals meets study objectives for Japanese renal cancer imaging trial. In the latest development, Telix Pharmaceuticals Limited has reported results of the Phase 1 component of Phase 1-2 Zyrdak JP the clinical study of its renal cancer imaging product and has met the study objectives. This further indicates safety and tolerability of TLX250 CDX in Japanese patients. Notably, there were no adverse events or serious adverse events noted in any of the study of the patients. Telix Pharmaceuticals Limited stock is trading at 3.930 Australian dollars on the 21st of April 2021 at 10:44 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Horizon Holdings Holdings report 6% decline in March total coal volumes. Horizon Holdings Limited has reported a decline of 6% in the March quarter 2021 volumes for coal at 48.5 million tonnes as compared to PCP. This decline was driven due to lower volumes in Central Queensland coal network and New South Wales South East Queensland amid softer customer demand. The halt of the Stanwell contract and unfavourable weather affecting mine production. Moreover, the impact of continuing import restrictions for Australian export volume into China had declined in the quarter with alternative markets continuing to be discovered for Australian coal. Horizon forecasts coal volumes in the range of 200 to 210 million tonnes in the financial year 2021. Horizon Holdings Limited stock is trading at 3.860 Australian dollars on 21st of April 2021 at 10.45 a.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time. Leafroy commences diamond drilling at Burns's Prospect. The shares of the mining prospect stock Leafroy Exploration are worth watching today as the company has started a diamond drill program to evaluate the Eastern Porphyry at the Burns Copper Gold Prospect. Burns is within the Eastern Leafroy Tenement Package which is part of the wholly owned Greater Leafroy Gold Project located 50k southeast of Kalgoorlie. Last month Six angled RC holes, designed as pre-collars for later diamond drilling, were done at Burns. 
Lefroy Exploration Limited is trading at 1.300 Australian dollars per share on the 21st of April 2021 at 10.47 Australian Eastern Standard Time. Split It Payments reports accelerated growth across Q1 with gross revenue up 292%. International Payment Solutions provider Split at Payments Limited has experienced an acceleration in growth across all key operating metrics. Merchant sales volume increased sharply to 82 million US dollars, indicating a growth of 247% YOY. Gross revenue, non-GAAP, of US dollars 2.7 million, reflecting an increase of 292%. The total shoppers increased by 70,000 to 0.5 million in the first quarter. Split It Payments also continued to broaden its partnerships by going live with Google Japan and establishing a significant deal with Union Pay International. This enables SPT as a payment option to its international network and this strong momentum across SPT's business has continued into the second quarter. Split at Payments Limited stock is trading at 0.805% on the 21st of April 2021 at 10.47 Australian Eastern Standard Time. Thanks for watching and we'll be back soon to keep you in touch with all the stocks action.